חפץ חיים זה If you see a kosher Jew שומר תורה ומצוות He does something that can be translated as a sin There's no guarantee Maybe it's pikuach nefesh, maybe it's... But it looks like a sin The chance that it's an illegal act Meaning he's committing a sin is 50-50 50-50. Maybe it's a sin, maybe it's not. What is the halacha? How do you have to judge this person in your mind? Someone who's known to you, Bachur Yeshiva, Avrech, Shomer Torah and Mitzvot, come to Shul every day, Shomer Shabbos, eating kosher, kosher person, learn Torah every day. He just did something that look like a sin. Maybe it's a sin, maybe it wasn't. For instance, you saw him walking next to a table, looking like this, taking something and put it in his pocket. It looks like he stole it, but come on, it's a religious man. Why, he's stealing like this? Maybe he just looked because he didn't want people to see that he takes his own thing and put it in his pocket. There's a doubt here. What do you have to think about him? That he's a thief? Or you're not allowed to think that he's a thief? What's the law? We have a very famous say in today's world. What is it? That you have to be done le kaf schut, everybody. I have Adam Ladun. כל אדם, את כל האדם לכף זכות, right? right or wrong? Is this correct הלכה כלי או לא? Are you supposed to judge favorably every person? The answer absolutely not, it's against the הלכה. It's all depend who the person is and what's his status. Someone who's known to be מחלל שבת all his life. Every Shabbat drive in the streets, in the car, in the neighborhood. If now you're walking out on the way to shul with your little son, and your son asks you, Abba, why the neighbor is driving a car on Shabbos? If you have to judge him, you have to say to your son, oh, he has an emergency, he's on the way to the hospital, something happened, let's read the ilim for him. If you're not allowed to judge him, you have to tell your son because he's Rasha Merusha. He's rebelling against Hashem. Which one of the two you have to do by halacha? Which one of the two? You have to say to your son, he's Rasha Merusha Mechalel Shabbat. You're not allowed to tell your son, oh, poor neighbor, he probably have an emergency. Why? Because he has already a status of Mechalel Shabbat Befaresia. The Torah did not ask you to be a moron, or to be stupid, or to ignore reality. You see one thing and you say something else. What's this? It's not a dog, it's a cat. Come on. No, it's a cat. You, you, trust me, it's a cat. Okay, okay, it's a cat. We'll send you to a Barbanel, to a mental institution. The Torah didn't say to be stupid. Some religious people, they act sometimes stupid. And that's a very big Chilul Hashem, because when the secular people see how they behave, doing weird things in public, it makes them never want to become religious. And those weirdos will be judged for all the people that because of them did not want to consider to become Baalei Tshuva. They think they're extra righteous, standing in the street, making faces, screaming like, Meshugaim, don't take showers, do all kinds of strange things. And then the people that look at them say, wow, God forbid if I ever be religious, I'll be like this guy, I'd rather die than to be religious. And someone asks him, why you don't become religious? No, no, they're crazy. This, they that, they like this, they like that. Where did he learn it? From what he saw. The people that made him think like that, they are liable for that. If the neighbor is known as Shomer Shabbat, and now we see him in a car, now we must, must think that there's an emergency. We're not allowed to suspect him. If you suspect him that he's Mechalel Shabbat, 
החושד בקשרים לוקה בגופו, you reckon you jeopardize your health, חס ושלום, something can happen to you. And I allowed to, to suspect kosher people, חושד בקשרים, אבל חושד ברשעים, you must be חושד ברשעים, and not just חושד, חושד means suspicion, רשעים, you must assume that they violating the rules now, must assume. If somebody asks you, what did he do over there? He committed a sin. Later, you will find out he didn't. It doesn't matter. You don't owe him an apology. You have to done it all like Chova. Now I know you're thinking maybe I'm exaggerating. So let me, let me read to you the words of the Chafetz Chaim, which is the authority when it comes to Lashon Hara and all these things. No one is greater than him. Him and Rabbeinu Yonah, the two... best experts ever in those subjects. Let's see what he says. אם רואים יהודי כשר, if we see a kosher Jew, שומר תורה ומצוות, עושה מעשה שניתן לפרשו כמעשה עבירה, does something that can't be seen, like, like, a, like a crime from the Torah. והסבירות שזו עבירה היא חמישים על חמישים, 50-50 צ'אנס. חובה ללמד עליו זכות. You must judge him לכף זכות, favorably. Why? Because he's, he is a, a kosher status, and it's not clear that he's committing a sin. You must assume he did not commit a sin. For instance, you have a person that always come to Shachrit on time. He always come on time, he doesn't show up after Baruch Hu. And one Shabbat he show up after Baruch Hu. Ten minutes, mamash before Kriyat Shema. You have to assume maybe a stomach problem, maybe something happened on the road, maybe the alarm broke in the middle of the night. It's definitely not his fault. But if always he come at 9.30, he show up to Musaf. You're not supposed to think poor guy probably had stomach issues this morning. No, he didn't. He's just a lazy bum. His father woke him up ten times, and after ten times he's still snoring in bed. If he comes usually on time, and the one time he came not on time, we have to say everything okay, you feel okay, should we have it for you? Why? No, we saw that today you came late. You were usually never late. Then he will tell you what happened. But you're not allowed to suspect him. But if now there is an 80% chance that what he did is a sin, and 20% that it's not a sin, and this is a kosher person, that's a kosher person. He just did something, 80% look like a sin, 20% look like it's not a sin. What, how are we supposed to look at it? Kosher person. En mitzvah ladun lekaf zchut. Even by a kosher person. You saw in your eyes that he did something wrong, 80% chance that he's wrong, 80%, majority. You have no obligation now to judge him favorably. But if he's a Talmid Chacham, not just a religious ignorant Jew, Talmid Chacham, Avrech 20 years in Kolel, Rabbi, Rosh Yeshiva, someone who knows Torah, you know, he lives by the Torah. Then even when it looks clearly that it's a sin, you're not allowed to suspect him. He has a kosher status, he's a religious person, and he's a Talmid Chacham. Talmid Chacham has irat shamayim. He won't do something unless it's some kind of an emergency or pikuach nefesh. Amaharet, religious Amaharet. Yamaka, tzitzit, come to shul three times a day. Amaharet, doesn't know Torah, doesn't learn. Doesn't know halachot. He did something that looks like a sin, On Shabbat, you have to assume he committed a sin, because he's Amaretz. 
בא, 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 שומר שבת, שומר שבת according to his knowledge, which is very limited. Needless to say now, if it's a wicked person, ממשיך החפץ חיים, החפץ חיים continue. כאשר ידוע לנו שעושה המעשה אדם רשע הוא, a person that commits sins in public with no fear and no shame, גם אם המעשה נראה טוב, יש ללמד עליו חובה. He just put money in a tzedakah box. מחלל שבת. He came to the synagogue, I don't know, ברית מילה of his cousin. He took 50 dollars, put it in a box. You have to assume that it's drugs money or, or stolen money. Or money that he made on Shabbat. Meaning, you want to give him a compliment now to someone. Oh, I saw this chiloni put 50 dollars in a box. You're not allowed to compliment him. How many Jews knows it? Nobody knows it. Almost no one. Because no one learned Chafetz Chaim Alachot. No one knows it. That's why so many times people write to emails, you spoke Lashon HaRa about this, you spoke Lashon HaRa about and they're always wrong. They're wrong because they never learn. They don't understand some people it's mitzvah to talk Lashon HaRa about them. Some people it's mitzvah to warn the public from them. If you don't warn, you become the sinner. They don't know it. Someone that is Rasha, there is no restriction of Lashon HaRa against him. At all. Chalel Shabbat, you spoke Lashon HaRa about him, you won't be punished. Unless he's a Tinok Shenishba. Grew up in Siberia, he never heard Torah in his life. Never, never saw how Tfilin look. Maybe even Brit Milah didn't make him. That's, a, that's a Anus. That's not Rasha. On someone like that, you're not allowed to talk Lashon HaRa. But if someone who knows there's religious people in his name, in Brooklyn everywhere, and he continue to be with Halel Shabbat, he even eat kosher. But he's driving the car on Shabbat, on Ocean Parkway, to the beach. Someone like that, you're allowed to speak Lashon HaRa about him. Hafez Chaim, I'm reading it to you. Jeh, Adua, Sheosea, Maaseh, Wa Adam Rashahu, גם אם המעשה נראה טוב, even if it's a good deed, needless to say if it's a bad thing, if it's a good thing, יש ללמד עליו חובה. לומר שעשה זאת עבור בצע כסף וכדומה. He did it for personal interest. He offered the rabbi a ride. Rabbi, can I drive you to Monsina? No, come on, Brooklyn to Monsina, it's two hours. No, no, it's my honor. Let me drive you. Someone see it? Did you see how he gave him a ride? Don't, don't be impressed. Probably needs something. Probably has a problem. Why wicked people do not do anything unless they gain something from it? Why? They don't believe in God. They don't believe in reward and punishment. So, Rabotai, now the, Chafetz, the Chatam Sofer say that everything the Chafetz Chaim say, Chatam Sofer was a hundred years before the Chafetz Chaim. But the Halacha was already known way before the Chafetz Chaim. Chafetz Chaim didn't invent the Halachot. So the Chafetz Chaim say that everything we just say in the name of the Chafetz Chaim uh, here, it's written in this verse, Shaketz te Shaketzeinu v'taev te Taaveinu. What does it mean? שקץ תשקצנו ותעף תתעבנו כי חרם הוא. גם אם הוא עושה את כל המצווה אשר אנוכי מצווך היום. If you saw that he does a good deed right now, because this person is תועבה, is abomination, עליך לשקצו ולמאוס בו. So technically, רבותיי, We sometimes break the laws without realizing. 